Today, we're going to be talking about what you need to know about the new YouTube Partner Program modules that are being rolled out right now and what you need to do also right now. My name's Corrado, and I'm your personal YouTube and content coach. If growing your YouTube career is your thing, subscribe for more. Let's get you growing. So the first thing you need to know is that this is YouTube making changes so they can adapt to all the different parts of YouTube. Before, the only way creators could make money was AdSense. Now they have all these other fun things like Super Chat, Super Thanks, channel memberships, YouTube Premium, and they're rolling out even more new stuff now, as you know, like YouTube Shorts, and soon the ability for creators to make money licensing their music. So things are pretty complicated, and it makes sense that YouTube is going to want to take all those different, different revenue streams and break them up into chunks so that they can do a separate deal for each chunk, because not each chunk is going to have the same split. Oh, more on that later. So what are the four modules? The first one is the base terms. This is the super normal one that's basically your deal with YouTube, which allows YouTube to just give you money. This is the I'm in the partnership program sign here. So you need to sign this before doing anything else. The second module, it's the watch page monetization. So consider this the more traditional way. So ads in around the video. Uh, so this module covers things like AdSense revenue, YouTube premium views, live stream ads, and I think to simplify it, you can say that the watch page monetization is like the horizontal video ad module. And the other one, the third one, would be the shorts monetization ad module, which is pretty straightforward. It's the deal between you and YouTube where YouTube's gonna pay you for the ads that go between the YouTube shorts. So to simplify it even more than it's already simplified, you could say that this third module is your vertical video payment module. And the fourth one, it's a, it's a commerce product one, which is worded a little bit differently, but this is the module which covers all of the other revenue pieces. So super chat, super stickers, super thanks, channel memberships. So to kind of oversimplify this one, it's all the ways that an audience member would pay a creator directly. So you have the base terms, you have the watch page, which is your horizontal one. You have your shorts module, which is your vertical one and then your commerce product addendum, which is the ways that creator are just gonna give you, or ways the audience are just gonna give you money through Super Chat channel memberships. Next step is that everyone who's currently in the partner program needs to go to your YouTube studio backend, and there should be a big red bar on the top. On there, it should just say view terms, give that a click, and then go through and accept the terms one by one. Uh, if you decide not to accept the payment terms uh, on July 10th, uh, your channel just gets removed from the partner program and you have to reapply. So I would suggest at least signing the base terms and then sign whatever you're comfortable with, sign all the other, uh, all the other modules, but you need to sign each module to enable that modules ad type. So I strongly suggest doing it, uh, especially the YouTube shorts revenue, which starts February 1st. So sign that so that on that day you can start earning the revenue. Uh, earlier, I mentioned that there might be different cuts, and that's one of the reasons why there's the different modules. So there's one big distinction that you need to know kind of like right now. Uh, the horizontal video or the watch page, that to my knowledge is not changing. So right now, YouTube uh, creators get 55%, YouTube takes 45%. Uh, however, the shorts monetization is going to be the opposite. Creators get 45%, YouTube gets 55%. So YouTube is taking 10% more. So obviously the first question is why? So what I'm told is that YouTube is taking that extra 10% and putting it towards all the music licensing fees so that creators can just use any music they want in shorts without having to worry about licensing each individual short music for each individual shorts. It makes it easier, 10%, you know, that kind of sucks, but uh, so would licensing music for each individual short or not being able to monetize because you used uh, uh, some type of music in a short. So I think, it's a, I think it's a fair trade, at least for now. We'll see more as it rolls out. Um, and then I think the other thing to tangentially touch on is YouTube is rolling out an update where they will let creators license music on a per video basis. So then you can say like, oh, I really wanna use this Justin Bieber song. You can go into the YouTube studio backend and like see the deals that Justin Bieber has. And you can say, yes, I'd like to split my revenue or pay X amount of dollars to license the music for this video, uh, which I think is gonna be pretty great. It's gonna be a pretty big change. And then YouTube's also gonna let content creators list their own music for licensing. So if you're a musician and you want creators to use your music, this is a really great opportunity for you to make additional money. But that's another video for another time. Anyways, thanks again for watching. I'm Corrado, your personal YouTube and content coach. 
subscribe for more, and uh, I'll see you next time.